In this video tutorial, we want to show you how to create logical node, logical node types from scratch using the template editor. For that, we'll create a new project, navigate to the template editor plugin, and create a new data type template section so that we can start. Now, what does it mean creating a logical node type from scratch? That means that no information is imported from the template SED file. And you have to create every structure, every structure data attribute, data object yourself. And here, um, a little warning, this procedure is only for people who want to have full control over their data type template section and do not want to rely on information that has been added by others um, because if you want to create a logical node uh, type from scratch you really know have to know what you're doing you have to read the standard and put the standard next to it to not make mistakes now the example that i will choose is a very simple one um, usually the um, creating a logical node from scratch is uh, much more complicated and what i would like to do is to create a very very the most simple ptrc logical node that there is now if you want to do that you have to know that such a logical node type ptrc must have at least one data object that is of the type behavior and then you also must know that the, this data object behavior is point must point to a cdc class ENS, and then you must know that such a common data class, CDC, ENS, must have at least three data attributes, STVAL, quality, and time. And then you must know that the STVAL data attribute of such an ENS common data class is pointing to enumeration type, that is of the type behavior mode kind. Okay, that means we need to start with the enum type first. So the lowest level need to be implemented first with this approach. That we can either do by just creating something like that. So we have behavior mode kind. And then you can add enum values to it. Like for example on. Or off. or test and all of that information that I just type in I have from the standard so you really have to have the standard next to it in order to not make mistakes now especially for enum types I really actually don't uh, advise you to do that because compass open SED delivers all enum types that are defined in the standard anyway so rather choose one of the enumeration types from template SD. And then if you, for example, don't want to have locked or test blocks or test or whatever you don't want to have there, go ahead and remove it in an aftermath. Okay, so we have the enum type. Now we need the data object type that is um, a common data class ENS. So we can go here and say um, that is, for example, my ENS, and that is of the CDC ENS. And here we need to add data attributes. First one is the STVAL, that is an enumeration that points now to the behavior mode kind that we have defined. It is of a functional constraint status. So again, all the values that I type in here are coming from the standard, including stuff like that. You have to know that this data attribute can be triggered by a data change. Now, the template data, data that is running in the background um, has some capability to check whether the data structure that you have created um, does fit um, to the standard. And one of the things that we're checking is um, 
whether mandatory data objects, data attributes are added to the structure. Here, for example, the template validator tells you that the quality and the time information is missing right now in the uh, common data class ENS. Okay, let's add those. Quality has a defined B type within the I61850. It is as the um, status information um, from function constraint ST. And we need to have information time here as well, which is also a defined um, B type. and a defined function constraint. Okay, so no errors found in the template um, so far, but we have a schema validation problem that says there must be at least uh, one logical node type in the data type template section. Okay, let's add that. So we said that we want to add a PTRC class and we don't want to add it from the template SED, but we want to create a new one. Here you also backed up a little bit by the NSD files. Um, those um, tell you which data objects you can add from the namespace of the I61850 and which one of those is mandatory. As I said already the uh, PTRC is very simple because it only needs to have a behavior data object that we just defined and can be use of. Now, of course, such a logical node is not really usable. Um, usually you would like uh, expect um, something like a trip or an operate or a start information that you want to use. So let's add another trip information, for example. And then we have to select the type. So the data object is represented by a common data class. And this is again, knowledge that you need to get from the standard. The trip data object is of the type ACD. And that is not defined yet in our project. So we have to, again, start and define this from scratch. I will shorten it down here and we'll take those informations from the template SED. So for example, the ACT general. And we'll just use those to create a uh, data object, for example. And you can do the same thing for a start signal where uh, you have to again know that this is of the type ACD. And then you can make use of that imported data structure and define your start signal. Thank you for listening.